Thanks to Joe Blaster for sponsoring this video. Oh! oh my god! Alright guys, we are in the middle of the road right now. No, he's winning! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! That was so cool! What's up guys, I'm Carter Sharon. If you guys don't know me, I started YouTube five years ago when I was living in my parents' basement. What is up Sharers? Welcome to my first ever vlog. And I started filming on my iPhone and editing on my laptop and I just filmed videos with my brother and Liz. Flash forward to five years later, I bought a mega mansion with a 250 car garage, which is perfect for me because I love cars. And behind me, I'm gonna take you on a tour of how I spent $2 million on cars. So let's get started. So I don't know how many cars I have exactly, but we're gonna start strong here in the Lamborghini section, which is kind of dope to say, because that's what Jay Leno said in one episode. We're here once again in the Lamborghini section of my garage. So uh, I think it's cool that I have two, so it's technically the Lamborghini section of the garage. Starting off with the crowd favorite is my 2017 Lamborghini Aventador S. I've had this thing for a few years, and it's super fast, super flashy, and it's super fast on the road, but I've always wondered, can it off-road? <laughs> I first bought this car back at the original Team Roar House in California, and I've been wanting to off-road it ever since, so here we go, literally touching gravel for the first time. I have the front lift up, which gives me a couple more inches of clearance, but overall this car is, uh, you know, it's pretty low. All right, and right off the bat, we have a wet spot. It's a little muddy. We're going through the mud. Oh. This thing is four-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive, one of the two. I guess test one successful, it um, didn't get stuck. I bought this car sight unseen for $500,000 cash, and me and Bailey went to go get it. This thing is dirty, bro. No, I, this is not, I had no idea what I was getting into. And believe it or not, in the very first 10 minutes, I didn't total the car, but what happened is I hit a giant nail. Oh my gosh, the tire's off the wheel right now. And the tire went flat so quickly because they're low profile. The tire came off the rim, the rim drove, and ripped the quarter panel, the carbon fiber. I mean, it was a disaster. And it all happened within 10 minutes. And so we were stuck on the side of the road with an undrivable brand new Lamborghini. It was honestly crazy. It cost $60,000 to fix. Okay, we made it to the field. Let's go. So we're out in the field. And yes, that being said, I'm totally risking tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage to my Lamborghini. So you're probably wondering why in the world would I be doing this? Well, when I was a kid, I always wanted to off-road a Lamborghini. So this is from me in the past, just to make him proud that I'm in my own backyard in the Team Rar field with a 500, almost $600,000 Lamborghini. And uh, I'm gonna try drifting it in grass. It's just a childhood dream. So let's give it a try. Oh! 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 <laughs> that was so cool. Oh my gosh, guys, this is ridiculous. I've never seen a Lambo driving through grass. I cannot believe I'm literally drifting a Lambo. Oh! That's crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 dude, the intake is full of grass. You tore the field up. That is so bad. Oh, look at all the mud. Oh no, guys, it's in the radiator. Okay, this thing's gonna overheat. That was so cool. It's literally a dream come true. And uh, there might be some damage to the car, but I think as long as the engine doesn't blow because it gets too hot, we should be okay. Oh man, my poor grass, no. <laughs> This thing does pretty good in the field, especially if I just watch out for all the bumps. I feel like I could drive this thing in a field all day long. I don't know. This 2004 Hummer H1 was the first car that I ever purchased after starting YouTube. It's amazing. I love it. It's basically like a street legal tank. And over here, we got Andrew. Andrew, what do you got? I got a brand new 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. No, Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what it is. Is it a Wrangler? Oh my gosh. It's, so it's a Jeep. We don't even like it. And there is a long standing debate that argues that that the Jeep is the ultimate off-roader. And then there's a bunch of other people that believe the Hummer is the ultimate off-roader. So we're gonna put that to the test right now. Test one is an off-road race to see what is faster, a Jeep or a Hummer. This Hummer H1 is a turbo diesel. And my Jeep is hybrid electric. Andrew, are you revving your engine right now? <laughs> I mean, it's a hybrid electric. I'm warming the motor up. I literally can't hear anything. All right, guys, test one is a race. Let's go. Turns out 
out that the Jeep is way faster than the Hummer. Winner, winner. But it's also like two decades newer. It's electric, which is really fast. But we're not done testing to see which one is the ultimate because speed is only one aspect. We are now gonna be doing a tug of war. I'm nervous, this one's tough. This challenge is simple. It's just literally tug of war, but with a Jeep and a Hummer. This is the center line, this is the flag. If you get dragged backwards over the line, you lose. And uh, we're gonna see which car is stronger, more powerful, and has better grip and is overall the better car with this test. I'm so nervous, this one's tough. It might break your little pipsqueak of an electric car. If you break my Jeep, you buy me a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Never said that. All right, Carter, I'm gonna give you guys a three, two, one. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh wow. Jeez, dude. I didn't even move anywhere. I just went straight backwards with the brakes. This thing off. was a tank. <laughs> that was unreal. I'm gonna let you go three seconds and then I'm gonna go yeah, and see if there's that. even a fighting chance. Let's do that, yes. Look at the ground real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's from you. Three, two, one, go! Oh jeez. Hands behind my head. Oh, I was like, oh, are you are you doing something? Gas? <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's not even fair. Those tests definitely prove that the Hummer is the ultimate off-road machine. Wait, what do you mean? That was one to one. Yeah, whatever, Andrew. But also with slight modifications, my Hummer could literally drive completely underwater with a scuba tank. I mean, yeah, that was pretty cool, but there's how to hurt. That's why I got these gel blasters from Walmart right off the shelf. Ah! The Gel Blaster has two blaster modes, single, woo, ah, woo, and full auto. Oh boy. Ah, ah, ah. I love Gel Blaster because the hopper holds 800 gelets. They're mess free, non-toxic for your kids and pets, and it's super fun to play outside. These gelets also come in glow in the dark and they look amazing. Gel Blaster is the gift of the holiday. I love them and I know you will too. And turn. Oh, oh, oh. I got you, Andrew. Oh, oh, these things are so fun. Oh, yeah. I love being outside, and these gel blasters are a great outdoor activity. Ah! Oh my gosh, yeah. Right now, you get the gel blaster Starfire for an amazing price and free shipping at Walmart if you use my link in the description below. Up next is this dirty old Lamborghini. This is the most cursed and haunted car of the entire collection. This is the second 1985 Lamborghini Countach 5000 that I've owned, and they've both been a disaster. Let me just give you a little recap of how crazy this car is. This is the first Lamborghini that I bought before the Aventador, and we did some crazy stuff. Bailey's been on the roof, stove is stolen, We've done flips over it. We've done it in like last to leave Lamborghini videos, a bunch of crazy stuff. And then the bad things started. This thing has gotten spray paint and vandalized. And then during the LA riots, someone hopped over and actually ripped off the Lamborghini emblem. So this is no longer original to the car. This is, it actually goes like a Mercedes or something, but it looks almost perfect. So I have that on there now. It broke down on me a number of times. It's been in and out of the shop. It's been on flatbed trailers like three times or more than I can count. So then I did the logical thing. I decided, you know what, let's sell it. So I I had Matt take some photos and do a cold start to post it, and what does he do? He drives it into a tree and smashes the front bumper. Luckily, my boy Josh from Electra Motors is amazing with cars. He was able to fix it perfectly like you could never even tell. He repainted the whole thing, added new parts and pieces to make it so it would never break down again, and then it caught on fire. Over smoke. So at that point, we ended up moving here to the new Team Raw house that we're at now, so I shipped it to bring it with me, and along the way on transit, it broke. So there's a control arm linkage piece in here that broke upon transportation, so that's why the wheel is like kind of bent in. It is fixable, but that's why the car has been sitting here for so long, and it is so dusty and horrible, and uh, all I want to do is make it perfect and sell it so another person can love this car. All aboard! Check it out, guys. This car is the boat car it's literally a boat and a car combined and it looks like it's something literally from spongebob the tv show but in real life this thing is a ford van that was made with a real boat a 1975 sea ray and it literally feels like you're driving a boat because of the size of this thing it's huge you can have like eight people easily in the back you can sit on the front you can climb up on the flybridge and the best part is it's 100 percent street legal so i can do this Woohoo! On the road, let's 
let's go. The drivability of this car or boat is actually surprisingly smooth. It kind of floats like a boat, but drives and handles like a car. Rather impressive. I love the reactions that I get driving this thing. People go crazy. Everyone's taking photos. Everyone is just smiling today. And because this boat is 100% street legal, you can literally take it through a drive-through. I'm gonna take your order. Hi, can I get an ice cream cone? Thank you, this looks so good. And because it's a yacht style, you can sit on the front and just hang out as we cruise around. And it honestly, it's so much fun. I thought the boat car would be impossible to one up until I found this next vehicle. That is because this jet ski drives on water and this jet ski drives on land. Check it out, woo -hoo! Notice the wheels underneath the hole. That's an indication that this is actually built by combining a motorcycle and a jet ski, which allows it to drive on land, but it also makes it 100% street legal. Now, I don't actually have my motorcycle's driver's license, so I just drive it around the yard and take it off road. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! By far my absolute favorite has got to be the monster truck. I mean, just look at this thing. It's huge. And to get up it, you literally have to climb the tire. I mean, that is just so ridiculous. And then you gotta reach over to open the door like this and then do the splits. And then carefully get into the driver's seat. I also love how amazing this thing sounds. Oh, because it literally sounds like a real monster truck. Woo! Yeah! If you guys are wondering, this is a full-size monster truck and it can absolutely crush things. We've driven this thing over cars, a coffee shop, and I've done some pretty wild things with it. It's so big, it's kind of hard to fit in one frame. I'm doing my best right now. And another reason why I love it is if Andrew ever makes me mad, I could crush his little Jeep. Ah, look how small he looks. Woohoo! Let's go! But we're not even halfway through the car collection, so the show must go on. On to the next. These next two are so small that they were never legally sold here in the US. I imported these from Japan. They are street legal, but they're so small, I drove them in my house. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, I'm moving. To the kitchen to get my food. <laughs> This is by far my most dangerous car that I own. That is because we converted this PT Cruiser to be fully remote control, just like a toy car. The boys and I spent an afternoon putting motors and servos in the car, so when you push forward, there's a motor that pushes the gas pedal down, and when you turn left, there's a motor that spins the steering wheel. What seems like an obvious plan actually turned out to be so dangerous, and it definitely did not help the fact that we put a lazy boy on the top so you could drive yourself around. We've almost crashed this thing a few times, and it is so dangerous that it just sits here in the garage now. I think it's retired. And who could forget the dune buggy where we had this in the last to leave RV and took it to the sand dunes. And this is our longest car, the Team Rar Limo. Most notable for when we road tripped it all the way to Unspeakable's house with the boat on the back. Woo! Team Rar Limo, let's go! And this tiny pink Lambo. And I also have these mini Jeeps, and this one I'm modifying to drive completely underwater. And this weird one that's kind of like a medium-sized Jeep. And this Porsche that used to be pink. And I have a few other cars that did not make it in this video because we ran out of time. But guys, this is my passion. I love cars, and every single thing that I purchase, I do it for the sake of making amazing content for you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing, and comment down below what I should get next, or what I should film or show next. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace! Woo!